recording? Okay, good. Okay, hello. This is the... I'm sorry, I do not know the date today. I think it's the 13th. At... 8.17. And this is the honey. What? I'm recording. Sorry about that. Sorry. Okay. I am doing an extra credit assignment for culinary. I have this is I don't remember the name. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is called. One second. It is called... Creamy Tomato Pasta Casserole. And I have, first you start with rigatoni. <sighs> I'm sorry about all the talking. Okay, we start with rigatoni pasta, bring it up to a boil. you want a jar or two of Alfredo sauce and a jar of your favorite type of pasta sauce and some cheese whatever cheese you want suppose it the recipe says mozzarella but you can use whatever you want and then a, a 13 by 9 pan let me scoot that down for you 13 by 9 pan are going to layer it. You're going to start with the pasta. And on grease, you do pasta, the two sauces, and then you always end with the cheese. In mine, which you don't have to, but you can, like I didn't with my other one, you can put meat, which is back here, in this pan. And I'm going to put some. it up a little. Just heat it up a little. That one's already done. See what it's all cooked and made. So it's, the noodles are, they call it al dente. Um, I like to call it kind of medium, where it's, it's still hard. About and that's the reason why I made a separate one, so you can see what it's like, so you don't have to sit watching the oven for about a half hour. With me. And you're going to want to make sure that it's about like 165. Well, mine doesn't go by that, but like 160, 170 um, to be safe. Because it says make sure it's cooked until done. But I really. Done. Um, don't want to 
want to get it moving so it doesn't stick to the pan. See if I can grab a noodle. Hey, get back here. I want to make sure you only grab about one noodle. That's really hard. Open up the jars. So you have our name mother. So I use half, use half, about half a jar for each time you pour in, or not each time for each pan, full pan. Use about half a jar like I with this. Um, I just went out and got, sorry, another Alfredo sauce because they're kind of smaller. Um, this one I used about three fourths of the jar. It's about right there for right now. But I want to do half and half, so I kind of another. Make sure to oh, huh, not burn yourself on the steam is one thing. Two, make sure that Like the noodles don't stick to the side of the jar. Drain it in the colander, which I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to shut off the heat. Always use hot pads, safety first, or oven mitts, or whatever. Speaking of which, I'm going to want it at 350. Shut that. Push that back there. Now I will drain my noodles. Okay. And I'm going to set the pan, yeah, the big pot that I just used, in the sink so it stays out of my way. I want to do a noodles. Be steaming, so be careful. And this is going to be cool, so you can touch this. You're going to want to do a half and half. So you're going to half on the bottom and half on the top here. Uh, I'll kind of estimate a bit. See how this layer is going. Not that well. Kind of pour some wine. You want it so it just covers the Okay. Not, like standing straight. 
free. So. And you can whichever one you want first. I like to be all free though. And that's why I can't. I'm gonna set that the computer and kind of pour a little bit more of the other one. I love um, sauce. I'm going to put a lot of sauce. Which means I will be back. So I'm going to need to get another bottle. So next layer. sure the meat is cooked thoroughly. You don't want to hurt yourself by giving yourself a stomach ache. And then grab some cheese, sprinkle it over the top. So you get the cheese a lot. Try to sprinkle them over. Use your fingers, make it kind of easier for them to move around. So you kind of have it easier. Kind of popping above others, but you want to make sure you have some in everywhere. I'm going to set the calendar aside. I like to zigzag it. It's a little bit of fun out of cooking. So, right in between. Get the crazy. Two jars of Alfredo sauce and two of Prego. Probably one big one little of each. Here. Don't mix. I'm not the best at this. Sometimes you can have too much noodles, but I'm pretty sure one box is enough. You can do a box and a half, but it depends on what size of pan you're doing. Top layer. This way everything has a little bit of meat. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'll move this out of the way. And then you're going to want to do your last layer of cheese. This is where I do most of my cheese. Kind of like glom on the cheese. They say a cup and a half, a half a jar of this. Um, I'm not much for measuring when it comes to something as simple and as tiny. Easy. However you want to stick. I'm kind of just doing it however I want. Like if you don't like Alfredo, you can switch for forgot cheese. Tostitos cheese. Now I'm gonna do a little special topping to this so I will grab it. Um, Italian blend Parmesan cheese. So you want it really, I love really cheesy. Wait, that. I have a gas oven, so every time the gas goes on. Once you have the amount of cheese that you want, second. Flip. Because you're going to want a steady hand for this part. You're going to want to grab aluminum foil. And like I did with the one over there, you're going to want to put it on top. Absolutely perfect. I mean, he's not in a bakery or anything. I don't know. Like, little you test, you're gonna be dead if you don't get it right. Alright, as I said before, oven preheat 350. Be careful of putting it in and not to burn yourself, like I always do. Twenty-five minutes, about twenty twenty-five. You're going to want to bring it out. Forgot I had my other one. This one and bring it over. Try not to hurt yourself, but open it up. Steaming back here. See it in the camera right here. It's warm. Now, this is it's Alfredo noodles and pasta only. Although, I think the noodles are kind of tender. My fault. I'm going to do a little taste test so you guys know how it turns out. It is very good. Definitely something I would have again. Mm, thank you for watching. Leave comments or anything. Down